Hello Libras, this is Lori coming to you from your Empress Energy. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming back. If you've been to my channel before, I really appreciate that. And if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome, welcome. And I hope you come back and thank you for checking my channel out. I am switching things up just a little bit again this week. I like trying new things, and when you guys leave me comments, it gives me incentive to try different things or keep things the way you like them. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, I haven't even told you. This is a brand new deck that I got. This is called the Spirit Animal Oracle Deck, and I'm going to draw two cards from this, and then at the end of the reading, I will give you the Oracle message from it, and there's also a message of protection included in this. I love this Oracle deck. Look at the size of the book. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's got great messages in here. All right. The first card that you're getting is card 54. Skunk Spirit, Know Your Worth. I love this card. And the second card that you're drawing is 41. Nightingale Spirit. That is so funny because I drew that just a little while ago for a different reading. And I drew this for myself in between readings. <laughs> so something must be said for synchronicities. Okay, so um, let me see here. Let's get the energy that's in the room, okay, or who you might be dealing with. All right, so we've got strong cancer energy. We've got Virgo. Scorpio, Aquarius, possibly some Sagittarius, and possibly some Libra. Libra, you might be representing yourselves here a little bit. All right, and then I got the two number die. We'll go ahead and get those out of the way, too. So today we've got 5, 8, 2, 3, and 1, 9, 5, 3, and 7. If you didn't catch that, go ahead and rewind the video, okay? All right, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. I hope everyone's doing well. I am going to do the basic housekeeping while I shuffle to get your message out here on the table. Um, tarot is not for everyone, and tarot does not resonate with every viewer at every reading. Okay, somebody's got a message that they want to put out here <laughs> for you, Libra. So, oh boy, I'm going to have to check my deck to make sure that we're not all mixed up here, okay? Yep. We always start out in the upright, and then if Spirit wants to give us reversals, we take them, okay? Anyways, tarot is not for everyone, and every message is not going to resonate with everybody that's viewing this right now, because this is a general reading. Great way to start, Libra, with the sun. So, if this does not resonate with you, you may want to get your a free birth chart um, reading done, or not reading, a birth chart done. And basically, you can get, you can search online to find a free one. There are many places out there that will do it. Um, Astrolabs is one that I, I think I've used in the past. Anyways, you enter your time of birth your day of birth, and where you were born, like what city you were born in, and it will give you a um, birth chart, and it will tell you what your sun sign is, which I'm assuming you all know your sun sign because that's Libra. That's why you're here. But your ascendant rising sign might be something different, and then your Venus and moon would be different. Those are the ones that influence the mo us the most in our everyday lives. But if you check out those others, you might find that the readings resonate more with you. I am an Aries sun sign, and I have a Scorpio rising ascendant, and that is stronger than my Aries. So people see me as a Scorpio versus as an Aries. So the Scorpio readings tend to seem pretty close to the Aries readings, but there's always like an extra grain of truth or something in there. Anyways, let's see if we can get more... Um, cards here for your message. The whole purpose of telling you that is you may want to go and check out, once you get your birth chart done, you can check out my other readings for
for those other signs, and that may resonate with you better than this Libra reading does. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I, I will shuffle until the message comes out or I'm told to flip a card, okay? So it may take time. You're welcome to fast forward if you feel like it's going too slow. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. I will take these cards. All right, so oh, look, and now they want to just pop out. The message is becoming clear, very clear. <laughs> Somebody's got something to say to a Libra in the room. Or maybe just to the Libra Collective. Okay, and on the bottom of the deck, if I can get this back the way it belongs, is the Hermit. That's educational, self-study. Hmm, let's see what's going on here. My Libra friends. I have a cousin who's a Libra. Yeah, she's awesome. Hey, Pammy. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got the Sun. We've got the Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, yay. The Tower, the Hermit, the Devil card. Don't worry about that, it's not a bad thing. Queen of Cups, King of Pentacles, and King of Wands. Ooh, good strong King energy here. Also, we have a Knight of Pentacles. So a Knight is gonna come in here with an offer, a stable offer of some kind. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, you got teamwork. You got a lot of burdens you're about to put down. And the Eight of Cups, Page of Swords, quick moving message. The Empress again. She has shown up in like six out of the eight readings I've done, okay? And so has the Emperor. The Emperor has shown up like four out of the eight in the same reading with the Empress. Three of Cups, Celebrations, Stability, rest and yeah two of cups and then there's the emperor down here okay so they are not out here on the table yet but though that is where your energy is heading okay so let's see what we've got going on here <clears throat> you're starting off with the sun the sun shows happiness um uh sense of harmony being right with the world okay But it looks to me like there's still somebody that's like, I mean, this, this energy right here, it, it, because of all the foxes and they're jumping around and we all, you, you know, we all know foxes are sly, cunning, um, can be deceitful, but they can also be very playful. So to me, this card is representing playful banter. Somebody's like trying to pull your leg. You know what I mean? Just like get your goat. If, he, if if that term right there, get your goat, resonated with you, then this message is for you, okay? It, it can be for more than just that person, but that person specifically. Um, the sp spirits, the energy, just wants you to pay attention to what's going on here, okay? So after this, we've got the Four of Wands, which is the, um, reaching a goal. Um, Four of Wands is two 11s, 11-11. You're leveling up. You've ended one cycle and you are moving into a new one, which can't happen unless there is a tower moment. So something has to end in order for you to move forward with something else, okay? Now, these two energies came out after each other, one after the other, but they're on different planes, okay? If they were side by side like this, then I would say that... Um, you had something really bad happening in your life, but it's not. They're at opposite ends of the of the layout here. So that says to me that this tower moment was just something that has to end, okay? Whatever it is, um, you might be in a group. Um, say you're in a bingo group. You just need to stop going to bingo for whatever reason because this kind of pettiness, this somebody just wants to keep you from leveling up, okay? Um, and the devil energy, again, is nothing more than temptations, things that keep us from reaching the goals that we want. Okay, so that's why I say that that's more the energy that's coming out here. Somebody here is just trying to mess with you. They're just 
playing games with you, okay? It's not serious. It's not life-threatening. They're just being obnoxious and, and playing games. And the best thing you can do is just release it, let it end, and move on. You do have a very um, stable energy here after this happens, okay? You've got a king, two kings and a queen right here. This is this is awesome energy. The Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups represents um, emotional stability. So whoever is playing around and playing games with you, don't worry about it. You are going to stay right here in this type of energy, my Libra. You are air energy, but you are you're full of emotion. You are balance, though. Libra represents balance, justice. Um, so yeah, right here. Look how she's got her arms equally outstretched. You are balanced. And you're stable. You're feeling stable. Your home is stable. Your life is stable, okay? And we've got a Knight of Wands. So this Knight of Wands is usually represented by um, representative of somebody younger coming in with a passionate energy okay this has to end whatever this is we need to have a uh because uh yeah the death card does not mean a literal death it does not mean somebody is going to die it just means that whatever the situation is needs to end because it's not good for us okay it does not serve us in any way so let's see if we can get more clarification on what's going on here because everything else, you've balanced everything else out. Everything's happened the way it needed to. You, you at, after this tower moment, after you ended whatever, you kind of stepped back and looked at the situation. And you saw how you could be tempted back into this group. This, You could be tempted back into this energy, but you weren't. Okay, You learned while you were in this mode of self-reflection. And that you leveled up. That's why you were granted the, the Four of Wands here. And the stability, emotional, and just stability, balance, okay, back in your life. So whoever this Knight of Wands is that's coming into your life, um, it's suggesting right now, before I get too much clarification, that it has to end. Yeah, there's been some lies, some deceit, some sneaky business. I don't know if it's the same person here. I'm not feeling that. I feel like this is a, a new energy. Well, no. Let me get more cards because it could, for some of you, this could be the person that's doing this, that is gonna, trying to take you out of, oh, oh boy. If if the Six of Pentacles shows up, or Six of Cups shows up, I've got a story for you. Four of Pentacles. That's stability, okay? That's you standing firmly on the ground. You're not taking any baloney, okay? Hmm. Yeah, let's see. A little bit more clarification on this, please. And if not, I will look and see what is on the bottom of the deck because that will be the final message pertaining to this. And we'll move on to, okay, I've got too many cards here, but let me take a look. All right. Um, I was given the Page of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Swords, okay? So that's three kings that have wanted to show themselves here. But the Page of Cups comes in with a message from somebody who's been sitting around for a long time <clears throat> waiting for the wheel to turn in their favor. So you have a king of swords approaching you, okay? So maybe this knight of wands has leveled up 
to that King of Swords energy after sitting in, you know, sitting in hermit mode, as they say, reflecting on their life, growing up, maturing, learning life's lessons, doing the shadow work. And they're going to come forward with this Page of Cups energy, okay? <laughs> um, I'm going to move on. Okay, the Queen of Cups is here. The King of Wands, Queen of Cups again. Okay, so that's you standing balanced and in your energy. And when I picked it up, it was on justice. So we know your energy is right here, Libras. Very good, very good. Let's get some more. Ching! Sorry, just dropped my crystal. Or, yeah, thankfully it didn't break. Okay. A little more clarification with the uh, Rider Waite Tarot. Yes, you have taken time to reflect on your life, what this means that fits with the Hermit uh, information, energy here. Let's see. Let's see what the outcome will be. The world. <laughs> you got the sun and the world and the four of wands right here. Those are three major arcana, four major, five major, six major arcana, seven major arcana, eight and nine major arcana in your read, in your reading right now. You are facing a major life cycle, major life cycle changing. The wheel of fortune has changed. Oh boy, wow. Let me take a minute here, okay? This has been happening in almost every single reading. Almost every single reading. Wow, these cards. All right. We got Knight of Cup energy coming in here. So I'm going to say that this person, whoever this past person was causing this situation here, they've grown up or they will grow up soon. Okay. Um, yeah. They're going to put their burdens down and be judged for, for their actions. They've judged themselves. But you're going to get a chance to decide and judge for yourself whether or not they deserve another chance. Oh my gosh, Four of Wands again. The Hierophant, learning your lessons, okay? Um, justice, relationships, uh, marriages, the standards, public standards. Excuse me. The Wheel of Fortune again. Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune. I think it's here somewhere. Yeah, right there. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this time, I really do think that whoever this is, is putting their burdens down. Okay? Whatever they've, they've been through a lot. They have been through 10, at least 10 burdens. Okay? The nice thing about this is when they set their burdens down, they still have all these wands and they can build whatever they want to build after they put them down because it's theirs. It, they own it. That is theirs. They went through all that. So now they, they have the, every right to use that to better their life. And that's what they usually do. Okay. Not everyone. But four wands, 11, 11, you're leveling up. The world suggests that you've ended this karmic cycle, you and maybe this person too. Usually that, that's the way it happens with soulmate energies, um, karmic energy, okay? This is incredible. The Wheel of Fortune, there's been choices, but happiness, look at this, there will be celebrations. Wow, Libras. Wow, I don't even know what to tell you about this reading. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. You've been through it, but you have got all new life karmic cycles coming in. 
I mean, beautiful energy coming in. All right, let's move on to the die that has the letters on it and see what comes up for you if you get any messages from that, okay? I'm going to roll it five times. If you've never been here before, I'll roll it. I'll hold it up so you can see it, take a screenshot of it, or write the letters down as quickly as possible. If you miss anything, just rewind the video. It will still be there. Use the letters however you want for whatever purpose. It could be initials. It could be spell out somebody's name. You get the, you get the idea. But here's roll one. It's a wild on top, so you get to use the wild card, a wild any way you want. All right, roll two. That is the letter Z, okay? So that's on top, and you can use any letters you see any way you want. Three is the letter C. Four is the letter I. Five is the letter Z. I'm going to say it's Z. I'm pretty sure the N has a line under it like the U has. All right, so those are your letters. Let me read to you from the book what your cards say. 41 becomes 5. 5 talks about changes. 5 and 4 is 9. 9 is about leveling up, higher energies, okay? So that goes with everything that's here. Let's see what card 41 says. The nice thing about these cards is that you've got an oracle message and then you've got a message of protection, okay? So it talks about, it has things for you to reflect on. Okay, card 41, Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. The oracle message states, In the darkness of night, Nightingale Spirit sings her song of love and hope a harbinger of dawn to remind you that the sun will rise again soon. You are so loved, and the illumination song of the Nightingale Spirit calls you to a new level of self-awareness and connection with the light. Yes, there is shadow and darkness, but love and prosperity exist everywhere, even in the seeming emptiness of space, darkness, and a starless night. Hearken to the message, letting the music of the Nightingale's song remind you that love is all around. Feel it and trust in tomorrow's light, renewing your ability to recognize that the spaces that appear empty are filled with love and abundance. Illumination will happen soon. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that that's what's going on here. Okay, the hermit, he has his own lantern. He's illuminating things that... Um, truths okay good message okay so your protection mes message reads the darker the skies the more it seems the dawn will never appear but nightingale spirit is here to remind you that the the sun <laughs> will shine again you will soon feel the love and notice the abundance that surrounds you sing now put on some music or simply sing in into the empty space for finding the light within and giving it voice will give rise to hope and help you begin to hear the call of another who, like you, was beginning to fear the light would never come. Bring the light into the darkness with love from within. Give it voice and know that daybreak will be here soon. I love that message. I, I don't know what it is, but it re really resonates with me. Speaking of which, if this reading is resonating with you, would you please give the video a, um, a thumbs up? Drop me a comment. What do you, is this your story? Does this ring true? Have you been through this or are you feeling that like this could happen soon? I would love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check the description box below this video because I am have included the um, reading schedule and I will be changing things up and adding things. So even though the schedule is there right now, I will be adding more things. So make sure you come back and check that. Okay. Let me read. Oh, and by the way, if I haven't said it yet, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. If you are somebody who is returning and re watching the widow, the widows, the videos, the readings on a weekly basis, I I definitely appreciate you guys so much. 
And if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome, welcome. And I hope you will return. Thank you very much for being here. And of course, I would always like it if all of you would subscribe. Okay, so let's find card 54. The Skunk Spirit. Know your worth. Oracle message is, what do you value? What do you believe in? Is your best, most authentic self on display? Skunk Spirit comes as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Know your worth. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high, knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. Be who you are, and if your reputation precedes you, good. You have much to be proud of, and Skunk Spirit wants you to be your best self, the true you. That's cool. I like that. And the protection message is, not everyone will appreciate you. Many people have issues of their own to address, and you may trigger something in them, but if so, don't worry about it. Skunk Spirit calls you to be fully yourself without apology. Now is a time for honesty and admitting that something does not sit right with you. You deserve the self-respect that comes when you courageously choose to stand up for yourself and speak your truth in love. Remember who you are and what truly matters to you and act with integrity. You will be so glad that you did. That's an awesome message too. And that's a hard lesson to learn in life, to really act with complete integrity. So many times we go out into the public or deal with other people and we put on little facades that hide who we are. You know, oh, I, I wouldn't want my friend to know that this happens in my house. Or, you know, oh gosh, I wouldn't want them to think bad of me because I do this and they don't. You got to get over that. I'm telling you, that's... If you live your life every single day telling yourself that you are perfectly fine, you are perfectly entitled to be who you are, you will discover that you don't worry about what other people think, feel, or do about you. What other people think about you is none of your business because you can't control that and you have no need to control how other people think. You need to only control how you act throughout your day and your life, okay? So we are all humans. We are all going to make mistakes. Let the mistake be a lesson in life. Learn from it and move forward. All right, my Libra friends, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like I said, um, I hope it resonated with some of you. If it did, leave me a comment. I would love to talk to you about it. All right, guys, until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.